Welcome back to More Sip to Tally. I'm your host, Coach Evans, and today we're going to talk a little bit about Jalen Hyatt. A guy that I was very high on in the draft process, a guy that I thought should have been a first-round draft pick. Uh, I think I was wrong in that, that process, but it shaked out to be where he's where he meant to be. Now, looking at his rookie year, it's been a lot of downs. I can't even say ups and downs. It's been a lot of downs. Uh, before last week, his best game was a two-catch, 75-yard game. He had another game where he had two catches and 89 yards and had another game where he had two catches and 19 yards. Um, really, to say, his rookie year has not been a lot to talk about. But he had his first 100-yard game this past Sunday versus the Patriots, had a whopping, for him, whopping, five catches, 109 yards, averaged 21.5 yards per catch. I'm sorry, 21.8 yards per catch on six targets. So what I want to do is take a look at his first 100-yard game because I had been kind of waiting on him to have a breakout game, and he did it versus the Patriots this Sunday. So let's take a look at those five catches and see what he did to get his first 100-yard game versus the New England Patriots Sunday. All right, starting here on this first play, Hyatt ran a deep over, which is a special specialty for a lot of people. And what's going to happen is on this play, it's going to get cleared out. By this top receiver here, he's going to clear this thing out. And Hyatt is going to run underneath that and going to be kind of wide open. He's going to do a good job of toe tapping on the sideline. And Tommy DeVito is going to hit him hit him for a, about a 24, 25-yard gain. See him work his way under one linebacker. Get over the top of the other one. And just work his way in that clear space. Good job settling down. Knowing you're close to the sideline, getting your feet in. Good job of dragging your feet. Probably The throw probably could have been better, so he didn't have to, to do the toe drag swag, but nevertheless, he got it in for a 24-yard gain. Second play. For some reason, the corner, <laughs> and when I initially saw this, I called the corner a name. I'm not going to call him that now. But if this is cover two, the corner cannot allow him to get outside. But he did, and Tommy DeVito made a great throw. A great throw versus cover two. Anytime the corner allows the outside guy to get behind him, that window going to present itself. This window right here presents itself versus cover two if you allow a guy to get behind you. Well, if I could draw it, I guess it won't let me draw it. But this window going to always present itself. And if you got a quarterback with confidence and can hit it before the safety gets over top, it's going to be there every time as if the cornerback allows the receiver to get behind him. But you got to drill it in there. It can't be lobbed. It got to be a line shot. And DeVito gave him a line shot, and he led him closer to the sideline away from the safety. Look, faded him away from the safety, and the safety could do nothing about it because his corner allowed him to go outside. So 23 should be looking at 29 like, what the freak are you doing? But good job by Jalen Hyatt to continue to work outside, seeing that the corner was going to give it to him, then good job by the quarterback, DeVito, of fade him to the sideline once they realized they was giving it to him. Next play. It's going to be a little uh, shallow route, a little under. And again, remember when in his pre-draft process, the Cowboys was like, he can't run routes, the Cowboys scout. We want to see if you can run routes and whatnot. And he hadn't really done anything in this tape to say, hey, he's a great route runner. But he remember he was straight line speed. I didn't know he had this little juke in him. Like, that right there is the beginning. If he can do more stuff like this, he should be able to get the ball more. Just being able to start and stop. Because we know how fast he is. This guy had a beeline on him to cut him off before he get the first down. Being able to start and stop, make a guy miss, then go get the first down. Now, it does look awkward, though. I will say that. This is not smooth. It looks awkward as heck. He don't look smooth doing it. But he got it done. But he got it done. And with that speed, if he can kind of make that transition to the in, transition into being more smoother with that motion, he should be good. Now, this one, this is a terrible out and up. <laughs> but effective. Like, look at the out part. Like, come on now. You ain't seen him sell it out. He didn't sell it, but the quarter the, the cornerback is looking at the quarterback and just plays it bad the same guy that allowed him to get outside it's bad cornerback play but as far as the out on the route he didn't sell that at all but 
because he's so fast, he's able to get on top of the cornerback. And DeVito threw it up. It's a great job. Great job. Just staying with it, tracking the ball. And bad, really bad cornerback play, too. I, you know, I don't, I'm going to give Hyatt his credit, but this is terrible cornerback play, too. Cornerback play also. Good job of tracking the ball, like looking it in, and getting about 40 yards out of it. Getting about 40 yards out of it. So I will say this. This part, that part is bad on the out. Even bad, even worse. I'm sorry about the cornerback. But this is the good part. Tracking the ball. Contested catch. Staying in bounds. Knowing where the sideline is. Keeping both feet in bounds. Completing the catch. That's the good part of it. The ending is the good part. A lot of stuff before that was bad on his part and the cornerback. But he did a good job making it right. And they ended up with a 40-yard game. And his last one, just a little simple hitch, if I'm not mistaken. Is it just being a possession guy? You can be a possession guy and catch catch stuff like that on third down. If it's like third and sticks, even though this wasn't, you get more PT. You build trust like that. Whoever the quarterback is, whether it's Devito, whether it's um, who is there? Who is that quarterback? Danny Dimes. Whoever it is, just be there, catch the ball for whatever the situation is. So really, this is real quick. Just wanted to show you Jalen Hyatt's first 100-yard game. Nothing that's extravagant. Nothing crazy about his routes. Nothing crazy catches. He did a good job of toe drag swagging on that first play. Did a good job of tracking the ball on the 40-yard play. And just, just be consistent. Just be more consistent. And this should be a good confidence builder for him. Maybe he goes out and can continuously put up 50, 60-yard games. And maybe next year he can become what he wants to be because his speed is unmatched and we all know he can he can burn if he put that speed on tape get guys to play off of him he can work on his underneath game and work on his routes and be better at those but you can't coach speed you can't coach that and i appreciate you guys for coming through you could have been anywhere in the world but you chose to be here with me like comment subscribe share and i'll see y'all on the next one peace and love